Um, I miss how Diamond Platinums used to beat me up because I loved it. This is coming from actress Wilma Sepetu. Um, she said, and I quote, he would beat me up thoroughly. Ironically, I loved it when he battered me. I just don't know why that was the case, but I remember he would pamper me after assaulting me. And I think I loved it because he'd give me attention after the battering. Honestly speaking, I miss being beaten up by him a lot. End of quotes. And this is coming from the actress. Let me put it in. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when she said, honestly, she miss being beaten. Not just being beaten, by him. Mm. That's that's the problem. Mm. But okay. There is a, a a percentage of women that are like that, that mm -hmm. like being um, abused, and it it fascinated me. So I've done a lot of like Wait, knowledge sure. absorbing, trying to figure out because I don't have any idea of how to even think like that as a person. And there's so many things that I've come across, but for her, based on how she sounds. One of the things I can say is that she's minimized the idea of abuse. And I can only, um, uh, what's it called, give that to maybe the fact that she's been exposed to violence on an earlier or before. And I, don't, I know people are going to come from, especially Nigerian parents here, but even beating your children or if you're beating your wife. I know you, they beat you, you're fine, but not everybody works like that. And we've been able to see some connections in regards to that. You've obviously been exposed to violence. If a girl has never been touched in her life and then she entered a relationship where the man slapped her, she would not love it and miss it so much. That's one. Second thing is that a lot of women are actually addicted to drama. So you find that a lot of people don't like normal, healthy relationships. They find it boring. So the idea that, because I don't know how you have other things that you're doing in your life, like building each other up and striving each other and loving each other, that beating has even gotten involved. So obviously there's something lacking in your relationship and you find the beating and the loving afterwards as a means for you guys to bond and you don't have any other way to do that so in that way it's safe. if in this situation now in this scenario where you we've actually established that the percentage of women that enjoy being abused um would the man also be called an abuser of in course. that course okay of course you see that's uh -uh. the problem because of that question that was even asked mm -hmm. and i feel like um we are also encouraging this narrative i'm not talking about us on the stable i'm talking about the Men. people that even no, the people that are even promoting indulge the story them. or indulging them or even listening to them and so all we that. should disregard them yeah, because we, there we, are we, people you know the women who would i mean i have met this is not about just about this right this is not just about this story now even while i was in secondary school there's like, women I, like that i mean there's a girl who said if if the guy doesn't beat her then he doesn't love you know her. you know when there we're are people talking like about, that I, so I don't know if how would you categorize the man who indulge in that kind of um, showing of love. And you it's, get, still, I, I, it's still definitely an abuser because you see, the thing is, the two, the, some, people, some people's flaws work well together. If I'm a mumu, for example, I would work very well with an exploiter. Mm. My intentions to be mumu is different from why you want to exploit, but they, but they help each other. Hand. They mm. work, okay, they so work I don't, together. I think it was Pexy when we were having the rape conversation, right, that said um, even Nollywood kind of promoted rape with the way that it looks like the only way to enjoy sex is even is only when you're in pain and stuff like that. So I think when like... You're even, yeah, when you're cajoled, when you're in pain, when you're pushed against the wall and stuff hmm. like that. Which Nollywood, Which Nollywood did that? That was what Pexy said. I'm just saying, I think it was Pexy who said that, right? No, he said no, his the example was, was portrayed. Yeah. Yeah. Not this kind and of the example, example he gave of that was the mommy or mommy push forward yeah. Yeah, was, okay mommy. so let me just come back to the story now. The guy you are taking him out of context so okay. that was important sorry about that that <laughs> took him out of context so now let's come back to this story that mm -hmm. even the bloggers that are promoting the story and writing about it because there are a lot of women that deep inside they feel like this is not normal i'm not supposed to like this kind of love but the moment they see one story and they're like, oh, go, sister. So I, I have I'm pretty sure that's not the case, Ife. This is, this is very, an, this is like an abnormal. Because abnormal. this lady has left the situation now. Yeah. She's still talking know. about no, it. No, I'm never, missing There are a lot of ladies it's, right it's now that they still Because this is going against love. human nature. Nobody, nobody, no one wants to be hurt, Ife. Nobody. Really? If you, yes. The if people you, that are interested you, in BDSM, if, those people want to be That is consensual. It's a very different situation. What we're talking about is abuse. No one wants to be hurt. If you have that, then there is. This lady, this lady doesn't want to, to be hurt. 
I, no, I'm saying that. No, she was, saying that she people, stir up a drama just so that you can people. beat her. I'm mm-hmm. saying for this girl, she has trauma that is projecting itself like this, and it's not normal. So a normal girl cannot be stared. So she needs to learn, be helped to it, yes, understand yeah, why she her thinks value, that way. Right? Yes. Yeah. So I don't think a normal girl would sit down and be like, oh, yeah, I like this. I also want to be abused. Like, I I'm don't talking think about somebody who like is already, already in, an abusive, in an abusive relationship and be like, okay. I'm so pretty so sure it is. And then she's like, okay, so the, my, my man does the same thing. Every time he beats me, he showers me with gifts. It's always I get what you're saying, but we cannot, we cannot shut, we cannot we shut people change. like this down from telling their story because someone else um, has a mental yeah. issue that they've not dealt with. Right? We'll, we'll probably help that person get uh, get help mm. and also make this person understand that being abused is not fun. It can never I just be don't like where they all add their full stop. Like after saying this story, they just I think it should continue by saying say no to um, domestic violence or something, okay, something to, yeah. do you understand? The, yes, I just don't yeah, like yeah, where yeah, they yeah. all add their full stop. Mm. They just stop their, they just stop their story. I think a lot of people are actually story. mocking her and finding okay. it amusing, but I feel sorry for her, but, um,